Hello and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 2 with me, Matthew Caddis, Iggy e Puggy. So I must apologise for the um, rather short cutting of the earlier episodes. Seriously, there was there is something wrong with my recordings and it just really fucks up. Seriously, to the point where you notice it and it just, it just breaks. Anyway, that being said, we are in Gangplank Galley, and up there is another bonus barrel, so why don't I try and get that first? Well, I don't know. I really should, because um, it is standing in the way, for goodness sake. Seriously, am I using the wrong Kong here? I might well be, because uh, Dixie cannot reach that DK coin. That's another thing, yeah. The DK coin for... Uh, Gangplank Galley is, is at the very, very beginning. And you see there that little glitch in the recording there? Yeah, um, that is where it actually went rather haywire for me. And that is not good, really. So, yeah, that is what I meant. The pause break, I did intend to happen. Seriously, but, um... This? No, this was not intended. Um, another thing I should have done is actually do the spinny move with her um, ponytail, but whatever, I'll, I'll do the bonus round first. With this one, what we have to do is completely miss the, the thing there. Yay! But, yeah, I did that wrong. You can revisit the bonus stages if you wish, which I certainly do, uh, for the sake of getting creme coins, for the reason we will see in the next world. And, is it me or am I terrible with those uh, things? Again, you can fling them from further away, it's just they're f harder to fling than the, um... Uh, there we go, there's a hidden one there, so there we go. Anyway, um, there's the next DK coin at least, so yeah. And DK coins, of course, are necessary as well. Um, we'll see why a bit later. But anyway, that being said, let's go down here with the treasure chest. Yes, treasure chests, as I was going to say, are a lot heavier than barrels, and uh, thus cannot be flung that far by the Kongs. So yeah, in this case Diddy and Dixie, but there you go. There is also another barrel cannon up here. Let's see where this takes us, to another uh, of the Kong letters. Yay! Okay, so that's good. There's our continue point. And those big guys, of course, we did kind of have big, muscly Kremlings in um, Donkey, the first Donkey Kong Country game. It is just that with both Kongs, I don't know if I mentioned this in the first episode, but they cannot be defeated by any means other than by using a projectile like a barrel or a treasure chest, or by going invincible. I already covered invincibility in my uh, previous episode, so yeah. And there we go, there's the end of the episode. Not the end of the episode, the end of the level, should I say. So, yeah. And next up, we are going to... Um, I think I've done Lockjaw's Locker, actually, but... Uh, never mind. Um, let's see. I don't remember getting the DK coin, because I had trouble there. But, um, yeah, we did kind of... Uh, am I being shit with my editing? Well, never mind. I'm going to leave this in, because I'm lazy. As I say, the uh, underwater levels um, um, are in this game as well. I'm sorry I'm reusing footage, but I uh, I honestly did have trouble with the first two episodes. There won't be that trouble now. I found a workaround for it, shall we say. So, yeah. Also, you will see me going back through certain levels to get, certain, uh, to get various collectibles, such as the thing. Anyway... There are a couple of things I do want to rectify with regards to the animal buddies. I did say that On Guard the Swordfish did have the charge attack in Donkey Kong Country 1. That is a lie! He does not have that move. That is actually a brand new move that is new to um, both him and Rambi in this game. Um, also, this is that is also the case f uh, because, of course... Also, speaking of Rambi, Rambi cannot um, simply um, break open walls. He needs the charge move now. You kind of saw that from the first um, level, but uh, there you go. So, yeah. 
As for what Dixie is supposed to be, Dixie is actually supposed to be, according to Rareware themselves, um, Diddy's girlfriend. Seriously. Um, as for the banana coins, which are hidden throughout many of the levels in uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, um, the banana coins actually serve as a kind of currency. Mostly to uh, have a go on uh, Swanky's bonus bonanza, for example, and um, also in. Um, also to save in, uh, dare I say, the Kong College, which is run by Wrinkly Kong, who may as well be um, Cranky's wife! Yes, although uh, something does happen to her between, uh, dare I even say it, um, uh, Donkey Kong Country 3 and Donkey Kong 64, of course, um, and yeah, this is reused footage. Oh, I'm going to leave this in because, as I say, I'm too lazy to give a damn, but yeah, we seeing we get the DK coin twice. Oh, well. Um, so yeah, and that being said, let's get to the next level, which would have been in the thing anyway. <laughs> it still is funny seeing D uh, Diddy with the, um, uh, um, doing his own monkey rap better than the one in the DK rap, seriously. Anyway, our next level will be Top Sail Trouble. Yes, this one can be a bit of a pain because, um, thing. Now we are introduced to a, one of, I think, let me think, three new animal buddies in this game, Rattly the Rattlesnake. And yes, he is, well, okay, I guess. He can bounce very high with his coiled tail. He can also, if you press the A button and hold it down, b bounce even higher. So yeah, unfortunately he is prone to getting hit, more so than a lot of other animal buddies in the game. Seriously, it is insane. That is the main reason I do not like Radley the Rattlesnake. Uh, when we get to a le um, he gets a an, an, uh, level all to himself, he does. It's not one of my favourites either. And it is a ship based level as well. Um, but... Um, yeah, well, I got another one-up out of it, so I'm not going to complain about that. So let's go over here and head to the... Okay, why am I falling off? Okay, well, let's do a boost jump. Again, boost jumps are your friend here in the game. Um, so yeah, of course I'm playing the Switch version, so you can indeed use the rewind feature. It works a lot better than in... Um... Uh, there I say, um, um, the Mega Drive Collection. Seriously, I, mean, I abuse that damn thing in the Mega Drive Collection on the PS2 and on the Switch. I have it on both consoles because, well, the Switch is a, um, also a, um, a double, much as a handheld and and a, uh, dare I say, um, a home console. So yeah, but that being said, yeah. Radley is not one of my favourites because of his vulnerability and everything as an animal body. He's more vulnerable than any of the other ones in my opinion. Seriously, but there you go. If you like him, fine. I'm not going to judge that against you. Though it is very hard to control once he uh, does jump very high. Also here is a treasure chest. And yes, I do want to carry this somewhere to the nearest enemy, I think. So yes, um, and no, you cannot pick up treasure chests while you're on Rattly the Rattlesnake. So yeah, do I want to defeat him? I guess, but maybe not. Yeah, seriously. But um, I also like how uh, David Wise used the... Uh, Gangplank Galleon theme in this game. No, didn't mean to toss it overboard. No, I didn't. There has to be an enemy that I can be using it. Well, there's that big, strong Kremlin up there, but he's just way too strong at the moment. So, yeah. I suppose I could th throw it upwards. And over there is another Zinger. Yes, they return. Do the Zingers. 
And they make a much better dying noise in this game, like and something that could only have been done in the like the 16-bit era of video gaming, seriously. And also in the mid 90s. Right, so I've thrown that um, um, treasure chest up there. So what I want to do now is get off Rackley, um, pick up the treasure chest, defeat the Kremlin, and all that were there is a one-up. Seriously. Well, it might serve me well a bit later. And at the end of here, there is a no snake thing. So yes, I do want to go a bit further with Rattley the Rattlesnake, but I don't know. I think I missed something, but if I am short on Creme coins later, then you'll know why. That is one of the reasons, at least. So yeah. But um, I also kind of like the music for the for the um, for these stages as well. Really does have a nice pirate aesthetic, if you ask me. So let's fling Didi up there. Seriously, again, David Wise probably uh, did some of the some of his best compositions for this game. And hell, he did some pretty good music for the first Donkey Kong Country game. Although this has one of my favourite songs in the game, and you know which one it is. You know which one it is. Seriously. And let's crawl up here, and let's see, some more um, swinging Kremlings here, so let's be careful of this. Again, jumping over the zinger with Dixie. Not a problem! Seriously. Not a problem at all. Uh, ponytail Twirl is easily one of my favorite. I know it's called the Helicopter Twirl, but yeah. Ponytail. She has a freaking ponytail! It, it sounds a lot better to me. And... Um, the reason why I want to defeat that zinger there, although there's another Kong letter there, um, if you get all four Kong letters, you get a one-up, just like in Donkey Kong Country 1. Also, there are a couple of these, um, I don't know what they're called actually, but they are based off of, um, you know, I say, dragonflies. Anyway, um, here's the bonus stage. In this one, we have to find the token, so... Uh, I do not want to hit any of these dragonflies because it's immediate game over if I do. So is it at the top of here? Yes it is! So yes. And I want to get 15 of these. For reasons I will explain in the next video when I actually get to the next world because we're going to face the boss here. I don't know why I did the uh, bonus stage again because I don't really need to so... I'm just going to throw the Kongs off the edge and just return to the main level seriously. And then, uh, ponytail twirl downwards. Yeah, you know why I love Dixie Kong. She, she actually plays a lot better than her sister, Tiny Kong. Seriously. Anyway, let's, that being said, let's go up here. And do I want to see what's down here? No, there's nothing down here except some more bananas. But, uh, you know how I am with bananas! Okay, no, I'm back to that zinger again, so... Yeah, okay. So let's go over here to get another banana coin, at least. Not one I'm gonna use at all, but there you go. Okay, no, there's some things I miss here. Well, only some bananas. Not the end of the world if I miss some freaking bananas, but... There you go. Um, over there is the continue barrel. So, yeah. I definitely want to do that in case I die. There's another banana coin. Yeah, okay, I really wanted to go through this level, didn't I? Okay, fair enough, carry on. Um, at the end of here, we will be facing the boss of uh, the Gangplank Galleon. So yeah, weird where we, I already said that really, but there we go. And then let's jump over here, uh, go up, and indeed, Get our asses kicked by a z- Actually, no, 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 I've actually decided to twirl back for a second, so maybe that wasn't so bad. Climb up here, head to the right, in, um, avoiding the zingers, plural, and there we go. And with that, it is time to face the boss. The first boss in the game, um, um, which is Crow. Oh, also, from Funky's Flights 2. Saves the, pretty much the same purpose as the first in the first game. 
Anyway, here's Crow, and what he will do is a giant Neggy Jr. Yeah, you think he would be a much bigger Neggy, but no. Um, apparently, K. Rule has bred some big ones. Basically, what uh, Crow will do is send out his eggs, um, and you have to avoid them um, for the like the first two hits and everything. Eventually, the eggs will stop, and he will charge at you, and then you can just. Um, run towards him with the egg and there you go um, after that he will start ramming his nest flinging out nearly all of his um, eggs seriously some of which won't land on the ground at all seriously in which case I like to hold the Y button to just run around to avoid the eggs unless one of them falls out of course so yeah not a hard boss at all he's down in four hits and there we go and yes, for defeating every single boss in the game, we get a creme coin. Anyway, on the next episode, we will head to the Crocodile Cauldron. So I will see you then. Goodbye!